My message today is also a call for action, a call to all Americans, especially young Americans. I see what American youth can do if we challenge them. Reach out for the stars. Reach for greater knowledge. Have faith in the future. And help re-inspire a renewed national commitment to human space exploration. Carry me to a bathroom. All right. You can just go right here. We're on a Monaguchi, and we're a band in New York. And we're making a music video where we're sending a pizza into space. Given recent events, having freaky shit fall out of the sky that plays bad dance music and has cameras and pizza on it. It's pretty weird. I get, somewhere in my mind, I feel like someone that we know. Hello! Like one, two, three. Hello, I'm Ari. I'm Luke. I'm James. I'm Peter. You can talk. You can talk to me too. Can we try a couple? <laughs> can we try a couple more times? I'm filming a music video for the title track of our new album called Endless Fantasy. Actually, we're getting specifically the last shot that we need to get for this video, which is a shot of a slice of pizza ascending through the atmosphere into outer space. We, we definitely got outside help. It was yeah. quite necessary. Yeah, um, we, the, everything that we're talking about right now is something we had no idea about. Yeah. Uh, James reached out to someone uh, that he knew that had done this before, and that's how we got hooked up with Dylan. Hey guys, come on in. Here's the helium. 291 cubic feet of condensed gas. My name is Dylan Wolf. I'm a mechanical engineering student at the Grove School of Engineering. I'm building a tethered balloon to send a piece of pizza some distance up in the clouds and utilizing all my skills and knowledge to make that happen. So these are tension equations and some, some Newton's laws to make sure that the, you know, the forces involved are gonna make sure this thing is gonna be safe. Ready? We're on the roof of a building and we have a balloon with a camera and what's going to happen is the winch is going to unwind and the, the actress is going to let the balloon go and the balloon's going to float up until um, it reaches altitude around 500 feet. We plan on doing a full launch in, in the city um, and you we, physically we knew that it can't was, do it. We knew that it was illegal, we knew it wasn't like something we could legally do. But we were willing to put that aside for how fun and cool it would yeah, be. Yeah, like this would but be But then, awesome. like once we set it up, we realized that it was like actually dangerous, and there's kind of a reason those laws existed. And, like, <laughs> and not only it could that, have dropped on someone's head, and that would uh, we that would felt a little bit bad. We're on a train yeah. track, or, or something. a train track. A train. <laughs> yeah. Well, the worst case scenario is it hits a plane, I mean, or it hits one person on the street. Plane, train, or person, or automobile. That would also be bad. I built a piece of uh, electronics that logs. It can track the altitude, track yeah. the temperature, track the location, track the speed, all stuff like that. And then it saves it all to a nice little SD card that you gotta find at the end of the journey. My main concern is that when it lands, we have no idea where it lands, where it's going to land. Retrieving this, it might be quite simple. You might look out. It might be the craziest adventure in the world. No, not oh, you're wearing them. Yo. I think we should take it like as far off the main road as possible. Just, like, oh, there's another main road back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he said like the, like the cops came pretty quick. Really? Yeah. Like they didn't uh, stop them, but. James, the <laughs> camera, mount the camera, and tape it down and everything. <laughs>
Should we give a little toast? Yeah. All right. All right. <coughs> Brave Steve. Pizza, you have a long journey ahead of you. You will see things that we have never seen before, and you will report back on the ground. We will return for you. We will see you again, Pizza. Bye, well, guys. See, see you, you dude. Soon. See you around town. We right, love right, you. Good. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Bye, Illusion One. Bye, Pizza. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Look at cool pizza in the sky. Oh wow! <laughs> so right now it's in the air. We're kind of waiting patiently to, to get another ping from our GPS tracker. It, updates every 15 minutes and uh, we haven't gotten updates for a bit that means it's in space uh, where there is no GPS. It might land directly in front of us, it might land directly behind us in the Hudson. Maybe it's one of those places where you say I want tequila. <laughs> My, so my phone died, and about a half hour ago I got an email, subject package, from Lieutenant John Rader. The town of Warwick Police Department is currently investigating a suspicious package with this email address on it. Lieutenant John Rader, town of oh Warwick God, Police Department. Him. John Rader is my sister's best friend's dad. Shut no the way. fuck up. Seriously? Yeah. No way. What? Yeah, Call. I'm calling my sister right now. Dude, everything is coming up Millhouse. It, it goes be. beyond. <laughs> yeah. This is an absolute fucking like universe, man. The universe. This level of improbability is psychotic. The universe. Hi, Mr. Raider. Yes. This is Leia Jospi, Steli's sister. How are you? Good. How are you? Um, I'm hey, calling. You're our prime yeah, I'm your prime suspect. What should I like be prepared for? Just wondering. Okay, cool. All right, I can. Okay. Yeah, I can. I can be prepared for that. Thank you so much. Oh, who needs a GPS? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Dude. Cheers. Oh my God. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. Cheers. Two fucking insane. Cheers. You have ID? Yeah. Students, it's yes. kind of reflecting our so music making technology music back video. Then of a pizza slice going into high orbit or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a part of it. It's okay. Given recent events, having freaky shit fall out of the sky that plays bad dance music and <laughs> has cameras and pizza on it and, you know, makes it's pretty me weird. nervous. I mean, yeah, it's pretty weird. We had like three houses locked with the kids locked in their houses for mm -hmm. like figure out what was going on. <laughs> that obviously if someone was claiming responsibility of the situation and he brought it back here and we did not have the state police come blow it up. All right, let me get your... Uh, <laughs> package. <laughs> Our baby. It was just Luke. Yes. Oh. Yes. Our baby. You launched it in Newburgh. Yes. yes. Okay. We are so it's sorry it's for right. the inconvenience and the awfulness and all that. Working or not, if the music yeah. stopped playing, the uh, while we were with it. Let's uh, open this little banger up, shall we? Let's see. Oh my god, it looks so good. No no way. Fucking it's baller. It looks shit. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, yes! Yes! Fucking holy shit, man! My chief message is this America must dream. Have the faith to achieve the dream and develop the fullest possible knowledge of the possibilities that await us. Even the best trained and the brightest engineers, scientists, business people, and political leaders, if they have no vision, are mere
placeholders in time. I would beckon you to let yourselves dream again. And what is the dream of which I'm talking? It's the John F. Kennedy's dream to reach the moon and beyond. It's the vision, the faith, and brilliant opportunities that await us. In closing, let me say that space is our final frontier. As I like to say with my feet firmly on the ground on Earth today, as surely as they were on the moon nearly 30 years ago, let's join together and shoot for the stars. Ad Astra.